Hey, my fellow Scorpions. Welcome to your reading. I was just enjoying a cozy Sunday afternoon and I thought, let me do some readings in this energy and see what we have for Scorpios. Oh, it's been a long one. It's been a long year. <laughs> Let's see, I've got my uh, cards reversed, i just seen, and at the bottom was Love Begins, um, as i just seen it. So let's see here where we're going with this Scorpios. You guys know I'm a Scorpio too, because um, Scorpios shout it from the rooftop, so I'm like, I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> and of course, I'll leave all the information regarding what decks of cards I use in the description box, along with how to contact me for personal readings. Memories of love, Scorpio. Six of Cups. Someone from your past is returning to your life. <laughs> don't shoot the messengers. Just don't do it. I'm a Scorpio too. Do you think I want this? Do you? I've had enough of seeing this, right? Uh, okay, so Six of Cups. Um, somebody you have shared memories of love with is returning to your life. Let's hope it's somebody you want, right? Choose wisely. Seven of Cups there and Six of Cups. So, could be some cute confusion. You could be choosing between somebody new and somebody old here, Scorpio. Let's see. It says choose wisely. Don't blame me. Just don't do it. Power. <laughs> Is it that Leo? Is it? Okay, Scorpios. Power. I feel like here your power comes from your wisdom. Okay? What you already know about a person. If they tell you who they are and show you who they are by their actions, believe them. Because nine times out of ten, you knew it already. I know, I'm the same guys, I'm in the same boat, I'm in the same boat, um, but do you see what happened there? We have six, seven, and eight, so what will be will be, things are going how they are meant to be going, okay? A lot of watery energy here, so it could be a Pisces or Scorpio Deacon 1, if not a Leo, by the, those cards there, so another Scorpio that maybe can't let go of you, or it could be you Scorpios who can't let go of somebody and you're choosing to reach out to them now. Okay, be careful with the power. It can be that um, you're needing to tame those inner thoughts of confusion. Why do I miss this person? Check, is it, why am I so emotional today? What's happening with me? You know, um, check the moon cycles <laughs> before you make any crazy decisions, okay? Let's see. All the other readings are out, guys, except for the racy ones. I haven't done them yet. Ah, page of Pentacles. Somebody who blocked you now messaging. So Pentacles, what I'm feeling is like, I, I can't let go. They may have acted even immaturely if they're not younger than you. Maybe a younger earth sign. Um, but here it feels like you can't let go of them. Maybe you thought you did Scorpio or they thought they let go of you, blocked you and now acting a bit sheepish like, hey, when they return with this communication, it's going to be something very little. This is my hey stranger text, okay? You guys know what I'm talking about. Don't blame me. Are you sending a hey stranger text, Scorpio? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> it could be out of boredom. Um, we are going through a lot, aren't we? Um, yeah. Temperance. Hey, stranger. I want a second chance. What is my phone doing and who is it calling? Did you just hear it in the background? You need to stop. You need to stop this <laughs> calling. It's probably calling that Leo. I'm not going to do it. And it probably wrote, hey, stranger, I want a second chance because Siri was listening. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you just see what happened? It even just happened in the video. The fool. They're going to take a chance. They're going to take this leap of faith to tell you what they're feeling. But it's going to come short and sweet and thick and fast. Um, 
maybe even a Sagittarius or an Aries here wanting a second chance with you or you wanting a second chance of them because these memories of love just come flooding back and you're all emotional at this time. Like I said, we are a bit tired. You know, it's the end of our solar return. Once we've been back to Scorpio season, we'll feel renewed. So you're like, ah, oh, I reached out to that ex and now I feel okay again. Just be careful, right? The fool there, somebody's going to take a chance and reach out with a message. Oh my God, Ace of Wands. It's messed up because my phone just reached out to somebody and I just don't even want them. They'll be like this Scorpio, she's crazy. Why has she just sent me that? But it was my phone and you guys have my evidence on my phone on the video, right? So... I mean, what can I say? Passion ignites. Is that all they're texting for or all you're texting for? They're going to take a leap of faith and reach out. But the Ace of Wands is an opportunity not to be missed. So a little fun never hurt anybody. <laughs> the world, it does. It opens up these possibilities, all sorts of things, right? So just imagine you're like, one night of fun wouldn't hurt. And then the world cards here. Um, yes, it would. You may end up in all sorts of crazy situations. You know what happens when we do the thing? People fall in love with us. <laughs> we fall in love with people. Babies are made. You know, it's not just Netflix and chill. When I say Netflix and chill, I'm saying, come watch this murder documentary with me. Because I'm a weirdo, I'm a Scorpio. And I actually mean chill and be quiet while I'm listening to uh, the documentary. <laughs> but the world of possibilities now, it's, it's like I was saying with the world there. You might be feeling a bit tired, um, maybe even need of some comfort because we're coming to the end of our solar return and there's a lot going on. It's been a tough year. So you, you want a little bit of revival you want to feel alive you want to feel something scorpio with the world card eight of cups you know what happens with the eight of cups it's somebody who leaves with the eight of cups loops back around and comes back in as we can see this person is looking back so it could be somebody who you already left scorpio or somebody who left you you're looking back now there's a song, looking back over my shoulder. I never wanted to say goodbye. I'm looking back over my shoulder. It has to be one that I don't know. Well, I... Um, so somebody's looking back. I mean, some of you are going to be very strong and very good and walk away from this opportunity with the ex. Because once you're done, once the Scorpio is done... They're done with the world card and it's a completion of a cycle. That's somebody who's learned their lesson. Somebody who wants something else. Knave of Cups. If it's your twin flame, you can expect communication from them. Um, this is the Knave of Cups here. So this is a loving communication, an apology coming in, um, wanting to initiate um, a romance. So this is somebody wanting to init initiate a romance with you, um, I guess, beyond the, you know, thing, <laughs> beyond doing the thing. Somebody wants to initiate love with you. Four of Wands now. So we do have a lot indicating a new beginning, a lot to do with your home, um, maybe clearing out your home, uh, moving home, decorating your home, things like that, beautifying your home here with the four of wands definitely again seeing that 11 11 could be indicated to the twins um like i said um time with temperance to give that sort of love um another chance here if you've got a twin flame you'll know you probably can't love anybody else except for them especially a scorpio i just said to somebody the other day um scorpios like they're made for marriage right they fall in love very young and they can withstand a lot. And I think I commented to that person, like, if you're waiting for a Scorpio to get out of a marriage, they'll do all they can in a marriage to 
um, be there with you, to love you. They'll love you forever. They may, even they may not even tell you, but they will love you forever. They'll just be like, okay, I'll take this to the grave with me, but I'm going to love you forever. That's a Scorpio. Um, and so they eventually they'd probably leave the marriage, but you'd have to let them work their way to you. They kind of know what they want and go for it. I always say to people like, um, when they'll be like, how does uh, somebody approach you or, you know, get into a relationship with you? I'm like, nobody has come forward to get into a relationship with me. Anybody I want, I go for. Um, and I think that's very much a Scorpio trait. They'll let you know they want you here, okay? So this is somebody wanting a new beginning with you. Six of Swords. So you're both in a much more positive place to move forward now. The Six is related to the Lovers and the Sixth House. So if you're doing your service to humanity, if you're a twin, um, you're going to get this movement in your twin flame relationship. Um, this is somebody thinking more positively about you now with the Six of Cups and Six of Swords. This is somebody starting to miss you quite a lot and feeling the pull to you, Scorpio. The Sun. Um, so this is a yes. Somebody saying yes to you asking them or them asking you um, because of healing, because of this positivity, um, because of the clarity, the information with the pages um, that comes in. Something they say, sorry, um, something they say may even change your mind or make you feel all warm inside. <laughs> But yeah, the sun there, wonderful positive energy. Probably by the time we come back to our solar return, um, nine of cups, your wishes will be fulfilled. Wonderful. This is because your self-love is refil uh, refilled. Um, the ninth house is related to philosophy. So you could be daydreaming a lot about love right now. And that's why it's manifesting Scorpios. Okay, guys, good luck. <laughs>